This test crosses between two pea plants. Each big G stands for green pods, little g stands for yellow pods, big Y stands for yellow peas, and little y stands for green peas. First we have our parents, one of which is heterozygous and the other is homozygous recessive. In order to put them into a Punnett square, we must segregate the alleles into form gametes, which we do by foiling, which stands for first, outside, inside, and last. Since this is a dihybrid cross, we should end up with four different possibilities. Next, we put the segregated alleles into the Punnett square and combine the alleles from both sides to make one diploid allele. After we combine the alleles, we can identify phenotypes. As we go through each cell, we know that if a big G or Y is anywhere in the genotype, the dominant trait will manifest as a phenotype. Recessive traits only manifest if there is no dominant trait present. In this particular cross, there are four of each possible phenotype represented, making this a 4 to 4 to 4 to 4 ratio, or 25% chance of each trait occurring. Though Punnett squares are accurate in predicting probable outcomes, the actual outcome can always be predicted using Punnett square. It is all up to chance.